Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Schrader. We're gonna take a look at all of these different um, letters on the staff and figure out how to play them on the recorder. So we know our tricks down here at the bottom. E for EGBDF, you might have a trick that goes Elvis's guitar broke down Friday, or maybe every good boy does fine, or every good boy deserves fudge. And for the spaces, we know that it spells face, right? F a c e put the face in the space and um but music can also follow just the musical alphabet so if you look where i'm pointing here it goes a b c d e f what do you think would be next if we went to the space above g if we go backwards we have to go backwards in the mu musical alphabet so if we go down so a goes back to g Right, just like after G, we go to A in the music alphabet. So if we go backwards from A, we have to go to G, F, E. What letter comes before E? D. So D would be the space below the sp the staff. Okay, let's just take a look. Starting right here, this is low C. So again, we go E, D, C. Here's C. That's where it looks like. There's a ledger line right through the middle of it. And then to play low C. I've got all of my fingers covered for my um, left hand, and for my right hand, I'm using my pointer, middle, ring, and pinky. And my thumb is, of course, behind helping to support. So that is low C. For low D, I'm just going to lift up my pinky. Now low D is right over here, and this is what low D looks like. It is the space below the staff, okay? So here's D, and for E, again, I'm going to just lift up my next finger. So my ring finger is up. So I have up here on the top, I have a G, and then I use my pointer and middle to get low E. Okay, E on the, the bottom line of the staff. Um, we won't be playing F, but we will be playing F sharp. So a sharp is a symbol that raises a pitch by a half step. So this is what it looks like, F sharp. This is what we'd see in the music. We'd see a sharp either in the key signature or possibly right in front of the note that we're using it for. And the only one that we're gonna be sharping in our recorder packet is F sharp. So here I've got a G and then instead, I'm gonna leave this one open instead of covering the next hole, which we normally do, right? I'm gonna use my middle and my ring finger and that is F sharp. Okay, now let's go to somewhere a little more familiar with. We have G. Thumb pointer middle ring, A, thumb pointer middle, B, thumb and pointer. And we know where those are on the staff, right? G, A, B, we use our tricks. Elvis's guitar broke down Friday and F, A, C, E, put the face in the space. Here we have high C. So again, we have, there's a low C and there's a high C. So they have different fingerings, they have a different sound. And this is what it would look like on our recorder, right? I like to tell you guys first to make an A and then lift up your pointer finger. Okay, so this top hole here is open. My thumb hole is covered. And then for high D over here, again, the fourth line here, I'm gonna just lift off the thumb, off the thumb hole like this. So when I'm playing that, I'm gonna need this, these fingers here to help to support my recorder with my right thumb. Okay, so that should help you with all of these. Um, you can use the, the charts. It shows you where the letters are on the staff. It shows you the letter name. And it shows you on here, on the diagrams, it'll show you which holes should be covered, either on a recorder or with just the open dots showing what, what notes are there. Okay, so um, that's all. Great job, everybody. We'll see you next time.